All right, what's up guys? Um, <clears throat> finally got the camera mounted up for this video here. Uh, I wanted to show you guys uh, how I make my bait for my dog proof traps. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask about it, so I figured I might as well just shoot a short, quick little video here on how I do it. Um, might have to move the camera down a little bit, but I'll get, I'll get out the only other thing you need. Uh, all I got in here is just dry cat food. Um, I buy it by the 40 pound bag. Um, and I mix that with pure anise. You guys can see that. Um, it's basically black licorice smell is all it is. Uh, kind of more of an old school smell, but I love to use it. Uh, a lot of guys don't. A lot of guys just use plain cat food or dog food or whatever, um, which works fine. Uh, but for me, this just gives it a little extra pull if say I got a dog proof set on a sandbar or something. And there's not exactly a definite trail to where I'm gonna probably have to pull those coon two, three, five, maybe six foot um, up to my dog proof. I feel like just having this little bit of kicker in there for a little bit more nose appeal for them, I feel like it really helps um, with, with catches in certain situations like that, which I trap a lot of, I call them trickle cricks. Um, I trap quite a few of them. Uh, and I feel like this really helps out when trapping in cricks like that with dog proofs especially, so. Okay, I'll just show you guys how I do it. I'm not gonna mix up a batch right now, uh, just because I normally do it literally the day before season, uh, just to make sure that the scent is as strong as it can be. Um, but I'll kind of get the camera resituated here so you guys can see this. Uh, hopefully, yeah, there you go. So I got, this is a little less than 40 pounds. This is just what I have left from last year. Um, but this is, just to pretend that this is 40 pound bag of cat food because that's what I buy it in. Um, I put it in a tote just like this um, and then I buy pure anise. Uh, you can get it from a lot of grocery stores. Uh, I buy mine from a grocery store. Um, they normally sell them. I buy them in uh, six packs uh, just because I burned through so much of it. But it's normally next to like the vanilla extract um, or all those things like that. Uh, if you see them in a store, they're either going to be in a box like this or a lot of times uh, you'll see them in just the bottle um, and that's kind of what the bottle looks like. Um, <laughs> I almost wish you guys could smell this stuff through the camera to see what I'm talking about, but it's got a pretty strong little smell. Um, so what I do is I'll take my cat food, I'll dump it in this tote, um, and then I'll take this bottle and just right on the top along here, I'll put about half of this bottle in there. Uh, just pour it on top, just all over. Um, and then I take this little pocket shovel that I got here and I'll mix it up really good. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna actually mix it up now. I like to do it right before season. Um, but I'll mix it up. I mean, make sure you really get down in there, bring that stuff from the bottom and turn it up over. It looks like I got a couple different kinds of cat food in here still. But you mix it all up like that. Um, and when you feel like you've got it good and stirred, you know, I probably stir it for a minute or two minutes. Um, then I'll go ahead and dump the rest of this bottle in there, um, mix it all up again, um, then it's good to go. So, and that'll give that cat food just a little extra, extra nose appeal for them coons. Um, I don't think it's necessarily necessary. I've, I've caught a lot of coon just on plain cat food, um, but I really like adding that little extra flavor to it. It's kind of just my own twist um, to what I like to run in my dog proofs. So hopefully that helped out some of you guys. I know I've got quite a few comments and messages and stuff. I uh, had an email too, I think here recently about how I make my bait for my dog proof. So that's how I do it guys, pretty simple. Um, I wouldn't do it too, too long before season um, because this calf food is so absorbent. Um, I think it can start to lose the smell a little bit. Uh, but like I said, I normally, the night before I go to set, I'll mix up a whole bunch of this stuff and then I'm good for a while. Uh, I just wouldn't prep it like say right now uh, in the middle of the summer a couple months before season. I wouldn't do it then. Um, it doesn't have to like age or anything. Uh, you just dump that on there a day, a couple, a couple days or a week before season even you'd be perfectly fine. Um, that's what I do guys. Gives it a little extra smell. Um, and then my bait I just carry it around in these. I don't even I think it's like a 64 ounce uh, bait container with a screw on lid here. So that's what I use, guys. Uh, normally, this total cat food will ride 
uh, in the back seat of my truck actually. I used to run with just, I had like eight of those bait jugs that I'd fill up before I started running in the day, but they just ended up going everywhere and I'd forget them all over the place and I just simplified it and I'll bring two usually in case I break one because uh, I'm kind of hard on those jars. I really chuck them up to the truck sometimes. But yeah, Pure Anis. I'll, I'll show it again, uh, the name there, Pure Anis. Uh, works really good, guys. Uh, definitely give it a try if you're looking to try something new. Uh, if you got something that works already, by all means, don't change it. Uh, this is just what works for me, and I've been doing this for quite a while now, mixing up my cat food this same way, and it's caught a lot of coon for me. So, Anyways, guys, hopes this helps. Uh, for you guys that were wondering uh, what I'm using in my dog proofs, um, yeah, and thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.